In our headlines for this evening, Prime Minister Harris joins regional heads for CARICOM Summit and the Culturama 41 junior participants to be revealed on Sunday. The details are straight ahead. Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Friday, July 3rd, 2015. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. A packed and hectic program awaits Prime Minister the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris as he participates in the 36th regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of the Caribbean Community CARICOM, taking place in Bridgetown, Barbados from July 2nd to 4th. In addition to several plenary sessions, heads will engage in several caucus meetings, working breakfast and luncheon meetings with visiting heads of state and the Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Ban Ki-moon and President of Panama Juan Carlos Varela, respectively. Several bilateral meetings are also slated to take place between the St. Kitts and the Nevis Prime Minister and representatives of international governments including Italy. Prime Minister Harris delivered remarks at yesterday's opening ceremony of the CARICOM Summit. Prime Minister Harris is accompanied by Senior Minister the Honorable Vance Amory, Ambassador to CARICOM, His Excellency Sidney Osborne, and Foreign Service Officer Sonia Boddy. On Sunday, the general public will get a glimpse of the junior participants for Culturama 41. The committee has organized an event at Caribbean Cove where the children would introduce themselves. According to a representative of the committee, there are 10 students representing five primary schools and eight junior Calypsonians. Ursia Blake outlined what is expected to happen this Sunday at Caribbean Cove, beginning at 5.30 p.m. They would be launched in three segments. Culture, where they would display the different folklore or art forms traditionally, masquerade, sagwa, cowboy and Indians, cakewalk, and maple dancing. For the FET, this is a regal affair where both contestants will be dressed elegantly. Uh, nice dresses, black pants, dress shirt, top hats, bow ties, gloves, fascinators, you name it. They would look extra special for that segment. Also for that segment, the students, uh, the contestants, sorry, are expected to introduce themselves to the general public, and they will also be sashed by their sponsor and receive their sponsorship check. For the fun segment, as we said, it's culture, fet, and fun. This fun segment, although we are in culturama, we'll be doing it carnival style where the contestants would be dressed in costumes and their costumes would be named um, by the schools. The costumes would um, be the color of the school. So, you know, either Walters, it's maroon, Charlestown, it's orange, St. Thomas's, green, and it goes on. So they will name their costumes, let's say, um, magnificent orange, exotic maroon, psychedelic um, green, uh, whatever the case may be. And in that segment, it would be um, party style. The theme for the reveal on Sunday is Culture, Fet and Fun, Culturama 41. And the date for the Mr. and Mr. Talented Youth pageant is Sunday, July 26th at 7 p.m. The show is being twinned with the Junior Kaiso Contest. The Ministry of Tourism on Wednesday, July 1st, took grade 5 and 6 students of three primary schools on a field trip to experience the sports and aquatic activities offered at the Four Seasons Resort Nevis. 
During the trip, the students of the St. Thomas's Primary and Maud Cross Preparatory Schools participated in golf and tennis, while the Nevis Academy participated in the aquatic activities. Tourism Development Officer Dawson Utley notes that the activity is hosted annually. Yeah, the importance of this, um, this trip, this um, exercise, is um, to emphasize the sports tourism aspect. Um, you know, that is a, a, a growing um, sector um, as, um, in tourism. It's a growing sector in the um, tourism and we want to, you know, just shed this side to the, um, to the students, you know, as you know, they may want to consider a career in this aspect of tourism if they ever decide um, to pursue a career in tourism. So, I know, I see this is, um, uh, they're enjoying themselves and, you know, this could be a, a consideration, you know, they would want to entice their parents um, in the future to come back and to um, engage in, in these activities. Director of Sports at the Nevis Four Seasons Resort, Maki France, explained the aim of having the field trip. The fundamental uh, purpose of today's activity is to get the children, one, orientated as to what we have here to offer. Secondly, to let them know that there are a multiplicity of things that they can do during the vacation or after school once they get signed on to a proper program. Meantime, fans listed the various camps available for students during the summer vacation. We have a camp that we're putting on for kids. You have a day camp, you have a week option and you have a month option. The hope is that we get these children super interested that one day they may want to come and work with us and do some of the things that we have in the field of recreation. The field trip is a part of the tourism education program offered at all primary schools through the Ministry of Tourism in an effort to educate the students about the tourism industry. Yeah, tell me when you're ready. Culture of a nice. And watch out, this is going to be the nicest culture. Welcome back. The Violet O. Jeffers Nichols BOJ and Primary School held its graduation and prize giving ceremony yesterday, Thursday, July 2nd, at the Combermere Methodist Church. A positive attitude, the criterion for success, was the theme of the ceremony during which 10 students graduated from the VOJ and Primary School today. Having achieved the best results, valedictorian Peter Charles was presented with the Nevis Teachers Union, the Nesbitt Plantation Beach Club, the Roma Hanley, the Roger and Margaret Steger Awards for the top student. The premiers of the Violet Nichols, the Franklin and Lauren Brown and the Linnell Nolan Awards for the top boy. The Juletta Jeffers Award for first place in mathematics the Medical University of the Americas Award for Best Science Results, the M&M &M Enterprises Awards for the Best Science and Mathematics Results, the Erlene Maynard and the Jonas Green Valley Produce Awards for Outstanding Work in Science, the Paradise drive Through Award for Second Place in Language Arts, and the Character Education Respectfulness Award. Achieving the best results among the female students was Maya Alexander. She received the premieres of the Violet Nichols, the Linnell Nolan, and the Bank of Nevis Awards for the Top Girl, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers Award for Best Social Studies Results, the Chef Paulet Award for Best Language Arts Results, the Nisbet Plantation Beach Club Award for Second Place, 
the Juletta Jeffers Award for second place in mathematics, the Erling Maynard Award for outstanding work in language arts, the Jonas Green Valley Produce Award for outstanding work in social studies, the Hope Nevis Award for outstanding leadership initiative, and the Character Education Helpfulness Award. Also recognized for outstanding performance was Vishon Majid, who received the Mr. and Mrs. Steadway Pemberton Award for Good Work in Mathematics, the Newcastle Wesleyan Holiness Church Award, the Farrell Smithen Award, the Lucia Wilkinson Award for Best Behavior, and the Good Citizen Award. Chaired by former teacher of the Combermere Primary School, Althea Jones, the graduation and prize-giving ceremony saw remarks from Education Officer Eileen Mills, Principal Shea Wilkin, who gave the school report for 2014-2015, and Linnell Nolan, who gave the feature address. Among the dignitaries present at today's graduation ceremony was the Senior Minister and Constituency Representative for the St. James's Parish, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. Meantime, 56 students became the most recent graduates of the Charlestown Primary School when the institution held its graduation ceremony yesterday at the Charlestown Methodist Church. Held under the theme, Reaping Success Through Collaboration, the ceremony received a report for the academic year from Principal Latoya Jeffers, remarks by Education Officer Ermelita Elliott, and a feature address by Ron Daniel among items by students, parents, and teachers. The ceremony also saw outstanding students receiving awards. Among them, the most outstanding girl on the island, Kashina James. She received the prizes including the Honorable Vance Amory Award for the Valedictorian, the Department of Education Excellence Award, the Nevis Teachers Union Award, the Premier's Award for the most outstanding girl, the J.D. Keynes, Jermaine Arthurton, Kyra Springett and Julian Heiliger Awards for the best exam results in language arts, mathematics, social studies and science respectively. The Honorable Joseph Parry and Marjorie Morton Award for overall best in language arts, the Reynold Daniel Award for overall best in science, the Department of Education and S.L. Hosford's Mathematics Excellence Award, and the Alice Swanston Award for Good Work in Mathematics. Anderson Amurdan received the Department of Education Excellence Award, the Premier's Award for the Most Outstanding Boy, the German Arthurton Award for Best Results in Mathematics, the Michael Perkins and the Hope Adonis Rivers Awards for Overall Best in Mathematics, the Department of Education and S.L. Hosford's Mathematics Excellence Award, and the Honorable Roberto Hector and Amber Lescott Award for Overall Best in Social Studies. Also recognized for outstanding performances was Danella Thompson, who received the Department of Education Excellence Award, the Department of Education and S.L. Hosford's Mathematics Excellence Award, and the Honorable Joseph Parry and Marjorie Brandy Award for Overall Best in Language Arts. Graduates Desiree Da Costa, Tamishwa Rajkumar, Nikoya Powell, and Antonio Phillip were also awarded by the Department of Education for Academic Excellence, especially in Mathematics. That's it for this evening's edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Donna Wilkinson-Keynes saying thank you for viewing. Good night.